What's going on boys? No guys here. Welcome back to the weekly tactic update. Just want to say first this video is sponsored by Patreon. So it's patreon.com forward slash no guys. If you want to get better at FIFA, come to my Patreon. So if you don't get better, after one month, we'll refund you my answer. Nil guys guarantee. But going over to the weekly tactics, as I mentioned to you last week, there's a couple of things that I wanted to do and a couple of things I wanted to change. Um, we put two new formations in and made some minor adjustments. I'm going to show you the adjustments we made for post patch as well. So I'm going to show you last week's formation and I'm going to show the changes that I make live as well. So that way you kind of get the bit of the gist of why I did things, why I changed it and what's been moved. Um, but as I said, there's going to be two new formations. The first one I've already released, now the 5-2-1-2. Um, you can go ahead and copy these tactics, balance, 35 width, 65 depth, long ball, direct passing, 50 width, 6 plays in the box, 1 corner of the free kick. I've already got a video on this on my channel, I realised I didn't do the best of jobs explaining it myself, that was on me, but um, there's a new editor as well, so let me know what you thought about the editing process um, on that video, but I understand the structure is a bit jerky over the place, please, please do give, give us time with the editor. Uh, but he's a very top tier guy. But that was my fault. Um, especially the audio was my fault as well. Um, so for both the strikers, what I wanted to say is you can either use stay central or get it behind. Or you can leave them both on balance. You don't have to put stay central get it behind. Um, it's up to you. You're going to see a gameplay video of this, I believe, coming out tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I think today should be Saturday when this is going up. So it should be the day after tomorrow. Um, now for the cam. I put stay forward on this, as I mentioned in the video. Um, you can use get into the side of the box across. I don't. The left side, middle, right side, middle, they're both the most important players. They both got to be on stay back, cover center. Now, people are saying, does this formation work on old gen, new gen? Yes, it works. Tactics are both for old gen and new gen as well, okay? The thing is, people are saying, oh, five backs have been nerfed. I'm going to explain this in tomorrow's video, which I've already recorded for the gameplay. Now, the thing is you're going to see in tomorrow's video is someone like Davies, for example, who's like a high-low, if he goes forward, won't get back as quickly after the patch. But someone like Mendy, who's high-high, will still get back the same amount of time. So the formation is more effective now because what happens is without, this is called a 71 depth nerf, you now have one more time on the ball and you can distribute the ball to both the wing backs and you have time and space to do so and you can attack in a central column down the middle. So the patch, although it's indirectly nerfed the, the returning of the back three and the back five, is actually buffed the formation as a whole. Therefore, it's very, very effective. So join the attack and overlap on both these players. Um, I'll explain this in tomorrow's video, but you want ideally quick players here, good stamina, high, high work rates. You can go, if you play like a four back, let's say you start on a four back, you can put one, um, you can put, for example, one winger maybe, or you can put, you can move like your right back to right center back and then put like one of your wingers or even a striker in this role. Someone like Mbappe, although Mbappe would be better up front, hear me out, but he can play this role very, very well. You may have seen this in previous years as well. Um, definitely goes into some of the top, top five formations. Well, not even top five formations, but definitely goes into the top seven formations side of the game right now. Definitely give it a try. Um, but those attacks, 35 width, that's it to be narrow as possible when you are defending, and that is pretty much it. Now, we're gonna move over, and you can use Super Keeper if you want to. Now, the 4 one 2 one 2 Now, the deliberate, deliberate reason why this, I said to you from this week on, we wanna change tactics out. We're gonna go through every formation variation, that way we're next year when the game comes out, and we're just gonna give you one meta tactics, maybe once a month, and that's it. But I want you to try tactics out. We've got the 4 one 2 one 2 Now, this 5 2 one 2 and the 4 one 2 just, just kind of look at this on the bottom. Just look at the bottom hand, hand side. Look at the structure of the 5 2 one 2 And look at the structure of the 4 one 2 one 2 You see it's identical. The only difference is, is that you have this player kind of technically sitting a bit more deeper as a center back. So in theory, the formations play the same. But this formation is more attacking because of the way the wing backs go forward. But I want you to try this out. The problem with this 4 one 2 one 2 just copy and paste tactics now, they're pretty balanced, a bit more wider width just because it's a 4 one 2 one 2 um, You don't have the width as you would with the 4 bats going forward and the 5 2 one 2 um, And we, we, didn't, we didn't need as much for low depth uh, because it's quite um, a narrow formation naturally anyway. And um, that was made, the reason why I had 35 depth on a 5 2 one 2 was because mainly because of the 4 backs and the positioning. And the depth uh, is just fine. We can decrease it a bit more. You can, in fact, even probably even go more aggressive depth than the 5 2 one, 2 probably. But, well, yeah, 55 is a good balance. Um, but as I said, the, the main issues are when these left backs and right backs go forward, they kind of do nothing. Like, it, it's it, they, they kind of stand in these areas where, like, unless you're going to go for a cut back and you're doing a 1 2 with them, and you want to cross the ball. Otherwise, I feel like they don't do, they don't provide as much assistance as they do in a 5 2 one, 2 hence why we have both. 
So um, I'm just going to go through these. You can literally copy and paste. You can literally pause the video, manipulate the video yourself, guys. If I'm going too slow, slow the video. I mean, go increase the video speed. If I'm going too quick, um, just slow the video down and stuff. And you can pause it to copy the tactics out. This should be cover center, actually. I don't know why that's cover wing. But these two are meant to be on cover wing, like so. And then um, left back and right back overlap on balance. Now, as I said, a lot of you guys will not... Try both of these formations. I did try it first. They both play very similar. And I think vast, the vast majority are probably going to go lean more towards the 5 2 one just because of the way that it does play. Because the four backs are unmarked and it gives you... You're going to see the gameplay video because exceptional space. As I said, it's been meta since FIFA 19. And it's been meta for the few years around that as well. And it's that on the pro scene, you just can't use five backs and two backs. But otherwise, the 4 one 2 one 2 is definitely the alternative formation. If you want to get better at FC24, I do have an FC in 24 FIFA score series. But before you skip ahead, what if I told you if you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money? I can say that because I've been running this school for many years and thousands of people have already joined and even stay on. We go over complete in-depth gameplay tutorials, showing you the theory of it and then showing you gameplay examples in a structured format. Unlike my YouTube channel, they had a progressive learning system teaching you everything from the core mechanics to the meta so you can get better as a whole with explanations that go beyond the scope of my YouTube channel. FC School has already started with new videos coming out every single week. These videos will adjust to the recent patches and updates so you can stay up to date and ahead of your competition. So come join thousands of others in a mature community for those looking to get better. Patreon.com forward slash nil guides or click the link down below. Now when you join we already have a library of hundreds of videos more than my YouTube channel in fact with new FC 24 videos getting added constantly so you never run out of content. Remember the biggest mistake people make is they spend thousands of dollars on FIFA points every single year thinking a team will make them better but it won't. But now it's time for you to make that change. And don't forget, if you don't get better after one month, just send me a message and I'll refund your money. That is the Neil Guides guarantee. Patreon.com forward slash Neil Guides. Link is down below in the description or click on the pinned comment below. Now we're going to go over to the 4321. Just to give you a bit of insight, this is Mark Marley's 4321. Now, what's the patch done? In essence, nothing. Okay, hear me out. They may have adjusted R1 dribbling. That is probably the most that they've done. Finesses have been nerfed. But you're talking by 10%. 10% is not enough for you to feel the difference. The 71 depth has been nerfed, but it's just your attackers in the wide areas, they're not as as aggressive as they used to be. So 71 depth still works, but it doesn't work as effectively well. So to be honest, you don't have to actually increase or decrease the depth there. Balanced and direct passing for we actually kept it the exact same here. Now I think overall I prefer Anders as one. Um, I kind of prefer this one just because naturally I attack on the left hand side. Naturally your eye kind of leans towards that. Um, but one thing I wanted to say is yeah, the, the tactics are exactly the same. So I'm going to go through these. This defense in the 4 4 2, I mentioned this already. They stay as strikers. The Binia goes to right mid and Smith comes to left mid. Owner goes here, Cree goes there. And that is how you defend in the 4 4 2. When you're in possession of the ball, you def you're attacking a 4 3 2 1. Balance, cover wing, get into the box, right in the mid, stay back, stay edge, cover center for the center mid. Ideally, a CDM here is what you need. Left center mid is stay back, stay edge box, cover center as well. And left back is on balanced overlap. And right back's on stay back overlap. As I said, ideally, the person who's got a um, high, high attack and work rate is just going up and down, leave them on the attacking side. Um, but I put uh, Marcos uh, Lorenzo there. Sometimes I put uh, Davies there, as I mentioned now. As I said, the the things that's meant to change with the patch hasn't really <laughs> changed that much. So in fact, I'm just going to quickly read something out to you here. Um, this is very important, by the way, for those that ever wondered, um, is anything ever changed? Yes, they change, but sometimes it barely changes. So what they've done is reduce midfield congestion. That is why I kind of brought the five two on two and the four one two on two back in. Um, reduce sideline pressure on attackers. That is why the 5-2-1-2 flourishes a bit more. Um, decreased manual goalkeeper movement. It affects Travellers. Doesn't really affect anything else. And more offensive-minded um, wingbacks. Now, this can technically be in your favour when they say more offensive-minded wingbacks. But it's kind of a, a, a play, on, play on words. It's actually a nerf to the full backs indirectly when they come back. But High Hive should resolve that. Um, but, you know, apart from that, they've, they've adjusted finesses slightly here the key thing here being is slightly reduce the finisher accuracy um realistically here you're talking about a five ten percent so i've not changed any of the players so i've still kept um 
I've got a side of the bitch. I still got Repido, Smith, and uh, sometimes I sub on Sun for Dabinia. But they haven't really changed Finesse's as a grand scheme. It's like, ten, let's just say 10%. Okay, so maybe out of 10 shots that you hit now, one out of 10 is going to miss. So there's no significant increase. I don't know why everyone keeps saying the gameplay is completely changed. I don't know what people are really talking about, to be honest. Uh, be careful whose advice you listen to. Because when, when the patch came out, um, I was saying, everyone's oh my god, the game's completely different. Um, but it's absolutely not different. Maybe placebo effect, I'd probably say for a lot of people. Or maybe they said I had a bad run and they're saying the game's completely changed. But from my understanding, the way I look at formation as well is... Um, as I mentioned with the depth as well, um, how do opponents play for now, for this week? I don't think anyone has changed their gameplay in compared to for for the for the new patch. Therefore, the depth is fine. Now the four two four again the same thing here. The seventy one depth now. Maybe as time goes on, I might reduce this down to about six sixty five. It depends how effective. Um, this new nerf to pressure risk because you see tactics doesn't just also depend on what is affected by the patch tactics also this is the way that i use it maybe not everyone answers but this is the way i do tactics tactics also depends on how opponents play so if opponents maybe are more um more so let's say they reduced um midfield congestion maybe your opponent to counter that might reduce the the width to like 30. So if your opponent does that, you may I may put your attacking width to 70 and I may put your strikers on stay center on wingers. So it's not necessarily how formations directly influence tactics. I mean, yeah, but it's, it's kind of like the indirectly, you know, how does someone, how does the average player you play against with foot champs, how do they react towards it? And because they've not really touched 71 depth that much, I think it's fine. I would say you probably need to use constant pressure. So the only thing I would change here is constant pressure here and 71 depth. I think that will bring you the best combination. This is the comeback tactic. Again, if you start with this, you technically leave this on balance, but I would say this. You can either go press off possession loss, 71 depth, long ball direct passing. We're still testing uh, PAPL and POPL as well. Uh, the pressing tactics long ball direct passing 65 and seven players inside the box and i'm going to go through these and you can just pause this now in terms of which formations to start with we're going to go through that in a second as well um but just feel free just to pause this don't forget this is attacking 442 um this is probably the, the attacking formation to press this is the one, as I said from last week, the kind of the real meta one that's basically used throughout the pro scene. It's really hard to take these two formations out because they both work equally well. Maybe this one may go. Maybe I'll, I'll think about it. But these, I said, very, this is like you're losing, you need to come back inside the game. This is you need to be attacking. This is like you're 2 0 down. You've got to start pressing because your opponent's holding the ball. This, if you're 2 0 down, 2 1 down, but it's 30 40 minutes, it's still early on. You don't need to go and press just yet. Your opponent's not wasting time, he's just playing. He or she just play normally. You can use a 4 3 2 1. Now, these are two that I want you to try with. I would probably say start with the 5 2 1 2. Now, the benefit of this one is, is that when you use a 5 2 1 2, when the left back and right back go forward, when they go forward, um, you at least have a back three in shape. The downside with this formation is, is that you have two center backs. So in fact, this is going to make you more open to a counter attack than the five two on two. Yeah. Now you can I think it's dropped between defenders, but it's not here. It's it's a glitch. I don't know what they've done this year. They've glitched it. It's from my understanding, it works. So you can put um, cut passing lanes. And I think it's drop between offenders. I think it should be here, drop between offenders. And this basically makes um, the back five. Now, you can't do it on this. You have to do it on the mobile app. So you have to actually use a mobile app, the companion app, and do it there. It's really stupid. So that's why it's not there. But you can if you want to, but that defeats the purpose of a 5 2 2 You might as well just pick a 5 2 2 Then what's the point of having this CDM that drops in? Uh, when you're attacking so that is why a lot of you guys i think 80 percent will like this formation but a few of you that maybe the the higher players that are used to defending with two center backs and maybe like the cutbacks a bit more you may prefer um the four uh the four one two one two but you can argue narrow has become a bit more open but it's not like narrow has become the real meta as everyone has kind of said oh the meta shifted 
I don't think it shifted as much as people say because finesses are so still OP. But I think maybe Trevilla positioning might influence that. Anyways, that is the week that is up there. Don't forget, if you want to get better at FC, you can come to my Patreon. So it's patreon.com forward slash no, guys. We've got a pressing video and we've got more eye tracker videos as well coming on the Patreon. So don't forget, if you don't give after one month, we'll refund your money as a no, guys, guarantee. So you literally got nothing to lose. Um, in my opinion, well, in my humble opinion, um, the best FC score there is out there. And uh, there's a reason why we have a massive team working with us in the background, creating all that content. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.